Welcome back to the Citizen Channel and one of our little regulars. At the end of every month we play, we have a little quiz and we've got the January quiz today. Now City have finished uh, January. Not on the greatest, uh, just a draw, wasn't it? A bit of a damp squib, but hey, we can't complain too much, can we? Four games in this quiz today. Obviously, we've got the game against Arsenal back on New Year's Day. I'll test your memory on that one. Of course, Swindon in the FA Cup. I'll be testing your memory on that one too. Chelsea at home, great game. And of course, uh, Southampton away. As I'm recording this, uh, I just got back from there yesterday. Interesting. So please, if you are new to the channel, I've got some, uh, yeah, we've got a little little prize for this, guys, as well. So stick with me, stick with me. I'm not asking, I don't want for the top score or anything like that. So I'll go into that in a second. I do monetize the channel now, so if you can help us out by watching any of the ads or following the links, that'll greatly appreciate. You know, I put lots of content out there. I'm certainly keeping an, keep an old man very happy if you can sort of follow any links. And it, I'm, now I'm monetized, obviously I get the benefit. If you want to skip, don't you worry. You you just skip through, but obviously it does help me out and helps the channel out going forward. Of course, all thumbs ups. Notifications, let your friends know. Let, let your friends know there's a couple of prizes. Well, a couple of prizes. There's a prize up for grabs, but you've got an option. You got you can pick. You can pick and choose. There you go. Never say I don't do anything for you. So the quiz this week, all you have to do is leave a comment or leave us your score. Please tell me how many points. There's 14 points up for grabs today. There's 12 questions. I think it's 14. I'll just check as I'm looking through this, make sure I've not miscalculated. Let me know how many points you get. I'll just make a comment or just say hi. It doesn't matter what you say. And at the uh, February quiz, for the February quiz, I'll, I'll draw I'll draw the names out of a hat and you will win the prize. And the prize, yeah, they'll be up on screen now. Some uh, Just a little uh, little shots, a little preview. Uh, I've got the Ars an Arsenal programme from the 6th of February, 1971. There you go. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, the things will be on the screen. I don't want to cover it up too much. So a chance to either win that. You can uh, pick that out if you want. So if you like an older one for an Arsenal programme away, I mean, even the Arsenal fans, you might, might be interested and of course, uh, yeah, Southampton. I've got. I did a History Boys feature recently. I've got this up for grabs as well. Uh, Southampton, Manchester City versus South, Southampton versus Manchester City, fourth of February, nineteen ninety-five. We've got Mr. Alan Ball in charge of Southampton. So you've got a choice, guys. You leave me a comment. Leave me a comment. You score whatever you want to comment. As long as it's a nice comment. If you don't, if you leave a bad comment. You can bugger off. To be honest with you, but uh, yeah, just leave me a comment on this on this blog, uh, and then obviously you've got till the end of uh, February. And when I do my February quiz, I'll draw I'll draw the names out of a hat live or live for me. Obviously, it'll be recorded for you guys, but I'll draw the names out of the hat, and you can choose which one of those two wonderful programs you want to own and uh, only the only thing is the arsenal one there's a voucher being cut off it guys but i mean please, please don't shoot the messenger but uh yeah a bit of history there for you so we uh, hope, hope, hope you'll enjoy that anyway so let your friends know but Bern is giving things away eh? you can, well, it doesn't happen often so uh get, get grab it while you can right on to the questions here we go 12 questions three three questions on each one each uh, each game, uh, please ask. Uh, you can answer this in your own time. Pause, pause the vlog, or you can do it as I'm doing it. I will leave a space if you want to really test yourself. Some of these might need a little bit of thinking about, though. So please uh, bear with me as we do this and play it however you want with your mates as well, your city fan mates or your family. Hopefully, it's a bit of fun. Right on to the Arsenal game. That was there on that one. That one as well on on New Year's Day. That was an early. Early trip. Uh, who's missing from this Arsenal lineup? So I've tried not to make it too complicated by keeping it to one of the more popular players. But there you go. Who's missing from that Arsenal lineup? Just for a point, that one. Question one. Question two. Yeah, a uh, bit of a memory on this. If you watch my vlogs, you'll you'll you would have been told this, uh, or you might know it anyway. Uh, we have now played ninety four games at Arsenal, uh, Highbury and the new stadium, etc., in the league. And we have now won either 19, 21, 23 or 25 times. So you've got an option there. Which one of those, if you want to have a guess? We've only beat Arsenal at their place in the league, 19, 21, 23 or 25 places. Yeah, it's one of our less uh, less greatest grounds, if you like, of, of visiting and getting, getting wins, etc. 19, 21, 23, 25. Question two. Question three. There we go. Let's spot the ball. We've got two or three of these this week. Uh, Rodri slides in. Of course, the winner. Great to see. But where's the ball? Is it A, B, C or D? So where, where's the ball in that winner against Arsenal? So yeah, that's three questions, three points, isn't it, there so far? Right, on to the Swindon game. Yep, he, may, he was my man of the match uh, for City. Uh, but who is it? 
Now, so who is it against Swindon Town in the FA Cup? Certainly my man of the match, uh, but but who's that? Who's that? Might be easy, that one. Just a point for that one. Question five. Yeah, Swindon have been at the county ground since 1896. That's good. There's history. There's, it's not trophies. That's history. Uh, but due to sponsorship, what is it now known as? So what's it called now? Obviously, it's uh, still referred to as the county ground, but obviously it's got a, a couple. I'll, I'll give you a clue. A couple of them. I need them both. A couple of words in front of it now. It's blank, blank county ground. So what is it? Who's, who's the sponsor? That's question five. Just a point for that one. I'm not going to give you a point each if you get one of one of the two words correct. I want I want the full answer. So something something county ground. Question five. Question six. Yeah, a bit of shirt masks. There'll be another one later on, which is really get a bit bit of paper and a pen ready if you can later. Shirt masks. Four city players celebrating there. Total up the shirt. So what's the total of the four city players? Celebrating that. I'm still useless at this. I still have to double check with the programs what what some of the squad numbers are. I know some of them, but some of them, some of them, I still don't. I'm absolutely useless if you like me. There you go. That's an, that's the second lot of questions. I think we're still on six points, aren't we? Six questions for six points. On to the Chelsea game. Uh, question seven. This is a two point question, so you get two points for this one. Thomas Tuchel, uh, which were his last two management positions before Chelsea? So who did he manage? before he came to Chelsea. So a point each or two points if you get them both right. Thomas Tuchel, so which was his last two management positions? Question eight. Yeah, who's the blue? So who's that? So I'm sure if you you know your players, you'll know who that sort of gait, that look, that style is. Who's Who's the blue? Question eight. Right, question nine. This is one where you'll have to just study this screen now. I'm going to put an image up. It's a memory quiz again where, obviously, I'll ask you questions on the images, but I'll take the images down. So don't cheat. Obviously, once I've took the image down, or, or you can pause it and look at the image for a bit longer if you want, guys. That's entirely up to you. But as soon as as soon as the image goes down, and we'll give you a countdown, please, please, just a bit. Of, it's only a bit of fun. Don't cheat. Just see out what your memory's like. Don't go back and look. It's easy to do that, isn't it? So this is one way you can pause it. Just have a good look. Or look at it. I'm saying I'm passing time now, aren't I? So, yeah, I'm going to ask you a question now on this. So uh, I'm going to take it down now. Five, four, three, two, one. There we go. So this is, uh, yeah, I think this is another another, another two-point question, guys, this one. Uh, how many balls and how many kevs? So how many balls are in that uh, the image I've shown you in the memory quiz? And how many kevs were showing in the images as well? So that's a good one. So you get a point each if you get both right, or a point if you only get one. Question nine. So I think there was uh, a couple. There, wasn't there? So obviously now we've gone up to 11 points now from nine questions. So we've gone to the Southampton game now. Question 10. Yeah, here's another one. Uh, spot the ball. Grealish, of course, goes crashing to the ground there. But where's the ball? Is it A, B, C or D? I think that's quite a hard one this week. It's, it's not obviously obvious to me. So uh, worth a guess, isn't it, guys? Where's the ball? A, B, C or D? Right, question 11, the penultimate question. Yeah, here we go. I'm going to read your statement out now. And one of these one of these things I'm going to say, there's four things, four facts about a certain Kyle Walker-Peters who scored a pretty stunning goal, didn't it? But I'm going to read you four facts. Now, one of these facts is a lie. So, so which is the false one? This is just for a point. So these four facts, which is not true about Kyle Walker-Peters. Right, first one, first fact. His goal was his first ever Premier League goal. That's the first fact. Is that true or false? I mean, three of these are true and one's false. He's played for England at under 18, under 19, under 20 and under 21 level. That's the second one. His second name, obviously, is, is obviously Kyle Walker-Peters, but he does have a second name as well. His second name is Leonardus. Leonardus, there you go. His parents of, uh, yeah, the heights of grandeur there, that put the poor lad. Uh, poor lad, it's a good name, but a bit weird. Kyle Leonardus, Walker-Peters. That's the third fact. And the final fact, yeah, before joining Southampton, he was at the uh, North London Club, of course, Arsenal, between 2015 and 2020. So four facts there. That was his first ever Premier League goal. He's played for England at all levels, under 18, 19, 20 and 21. His second name is actually Leonardus. 
and he was, of course, was at uh, Arsenal before joining Southampton between 2015 and 20. So one of those statements is false. If you get it right, you'll get a point. Question 12, and the last one today, guys, uh, only four games, so we don't go mad. Shirt maths, of course, another shirt math. So this way you need a bit of pen and paper probably to add this lot up. I made it a little bit easy. I've, I've left the Southampton players' numbers on because I was I certainly wouldn't have known, and I'm not saying you could, but obviously it just adds, adds to your mental mental adding up abilities, doesn't it, or on paper. So add up the six players, so the two Southampton ones and the four City players featured in those images. And what's your total? So what's your grand total? Add them all up on a bit of paper. So if you do it in your head, uh, uh, I'm not going to give you a bonus point, but well done. Uh, so let me know what the total is of those six players. Well, there you go, guys. Uh, prize. Don't forget the prizes. Up for grabs in this. And you don't, don't, it's not the top score or anything. It's just whoever comments. But I'd love to know what, what, what scores you're getting. And so, yeah, I think I'm right now in 14 points, aren't I? There's a couple of questions where there was... Uh, a couple of answers, but uh, so 14 points is a maximum. Let's see how many you get. Let me know, please. More, please, all of you, if you, if you can, just just leave me a comment and just say, well done, Bernard, or you rubbish. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll even accept you rubbish, Bernard, as long as it's not nasty. I don't care. And then I might, I might make make your ball not so warm when I when I draw it out for the for the winner. But hey, we'll see, we'll see. Right on to the answers now. Quickly go through these. Uh, question one: Arsenal. Who's missing from that Arsenal lineup? Well, of course, yeah, it's fairly well, fair, fairly well known. Certainly, my City fans, isn't that Saka at the moment? Uh, Saka's missing from that Arsenal first eleven, and we've now played ninety four games at uh, at the Arsenal. Um, we have won just yeah, we've only just won nineteen. Yeah, so it's the lower lower of those four figures. We've only won nineteen, which isn't great, is it, guys? Question three: Spot the ball. Of course, Rodri slides in and the ball is at B. So if you said B, give yourself a point for that. On to the Swindon game. He was my man of the match. And of course, uh, who is it? Of course, it's, it's Cole Palmer. Is he my, my man of the match in that game? He's disappeared again the last couple of games. But yeah, he was my man of the match. So if you said Cole Palmer, there you go. Point for you. And Swindon, of course, have been at the county ground since 1896. It's history. That's what history is all about. That's what you call history. And of course, sponsorship now. The county ground, it's called, and if you got this right, Energy Check. So give yourself a point. Energy Check County Ground. Energy Check. If you, check, if you said check energy, I'll give you that. I'll, I'll let you have that as well. Question six, shirt maths, of course, the four players celebrating. You've got Gundogan at number eight. You've got Bernardo at 20. You've got Jesus at number nine and Diaz at number three. So we've got a grand total, if you add all that up, uh, 28, 37, 40. Yeah, 40. So uh, just uh, give yourself a point for that. On to the Chelsea game. Yeah, Thomas Tuchel, two points for this. Give me the two teams, of course. He managed uh, Borussia Dortmund from, from 2015 to 17 and PSG from 2018 to 20. So they're the two questions. You just get one of them, give yourself a point. Otherwise, if you've got both, give yourself two points. And who's the blue? Well, of course, everyone needs him in the middle, don't we? Everyone needs John Stones in the middle, of course. Of course, uh, our Barnsley. Uh, Barnsley Beckenbauer, so that's John Stones. And number nine, the memory quiz. There we go. I'll flash it up. How many balls and how many kebs? I'm I'm talking footballs, guys. I know what your minds work like out there. So there were three balls and there's three kebs. So there's three of each. So if you've got three, say three kebs and two balls, just give yourself one point. You only have a loud, but if you've got both of them at three each, then give yourself two points. And on to the Southampton game, of course, Grealish goes crashing down there. And the ball, if you guessed that one, say that was quite difficult, that one. Ball is at C, of course. So it's C. And in this statement, here we go. Uh, four things about Kyle Walker Peters. Yeah, he's, he's, that's a funny one, that one. So, yeah, yes, it was his first ever Premier League goal. Of course it was. He's, he has played for England at all levels, 18, 19, under 20, under 21. And his second name is Leonardus. There you go. So he did have wonderful parents. And of course, he was at Tottenham. He, was, he wasn't at Arsenal. He was at their North London neighbours. I don't know if I threw you with that one. But he was at Tottenham, not Arsenal. So that was a false statement between 2015 and 20. And question 12, the last one. Here you go. This way you need a pen and paper and your brain to be working up. I, I, I'm all right adding up. I just wouldn't have known the shirts. Uh, six players, of course. I've, uh, I've, the Arsenal players are there, aren't they? So we've got Rodri at 16. Uh, we've got Diaz at three. Laporte at 14, Forster at 44, KDB at 17, and El Yanusi, is it? Is that how you pronounce it? At 24. So if you add all them together, 19, 33, 77, 94, 118. 
So if you get 118, I'm not, you know, you've got 117, tough, you don't get a point. If you've got 118, give yourself a point. And there you are, guys. Doesn't matter how many points you've got, you can still win these wonderful pra- one of these one of these it's your choice and i say it, i'll draw it and the, after the february quiz i'll draw it live on camera as i'm doing this so uh, please please tell your friends to get involved and like, more, i'd love to have a loads i think the last one i did had a, about five or six people in the draw i could i'd love to get 10 15 20 guys come on do do your bit uh, share it about let everyone know and uh, get in a chance to win one of those two programs and of course uh, we'll sort that out in February. Hope you enjoyed that anyway, Johnny. I like not many games. I mean, obviously, when you look at December, I think we played eight. Was it eight in December? But uh, yeah, plenty to go out. Bit of fun. Hope you enjoyed it. Let let me know in your comments and say, don't forget to leave something. Don't leave it. Don't matter what the comment is, please comment and you'll automatically go into, into the draw to win one of these. Uh, yeah, retro programs, of course. Retro programs. And I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Thanks for watching. Whatever you're going to do, rest of the day. Have a great one. Look after yourselves. Look after your friends. Look after your families. Money poor. Let's all look after each other. We'll be here again on the Citizen Channel. I only ask one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, Blues. Come on, City. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.